State leaders on both sides of the aisle are pushing for legislation to protect in vitro fertilization treatments in Alabama. And this comes after a state Supreme Court decision ruling frozen embryos are children, prompting some clinics to pause treatments and call into question the future of IVF. News 19 State Capitol reporter Manny Beer Temple has reaction and where this legislation stands. Governor Kay Ivey said in a statement, Alabama supports a culture of life and said that includes couples using IVF. Ivey noted that House and Senate lawmakers are, quote, working on a solution to ensure we protect these families and life itself. I look forward to continue closely following this issue. House Speaker Nathaniel Ledbetter said the ruling denies couples the opportunity to conceive, which contradicts, quote, protecting the rights of the unborn. He went on to say, quote, the legislature will soon consider a solution that preserves our Alabama values by empowering IVF clinics to continue assisting couples in bringing new life into the world. House Minority leader Anthony Daniels has filed one of the two bills expected to address the issue in the coming weeks. It simply says that until uh, the fertilize, a fertilized embryo is inside a uterus, it's not a child. And so in the meantime, we, you know, we're looking for other alternatives uh, for and ways for people to be able to still sue uh, from a simple standpoint, but not necessarily have that person be criminally prosecuted uh, for a mistake that happens in the lab. Daniel says he's talking with Republican colleagues to get his bill in committee soon. I'll talk to the leadership just to see that if we can get this bill signed fairly quickly and see if we can get the committee chair to put it on the agenda to have some discussions or call for public hearings on this particular issue. Now, a similar bill is expected to be filed soon in the Senate by Senator Tim Melson. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19. Meanwhile, Alabama's Attorney General's office said in a statement that AG Marshall, quote, has no intention of using the recent Alabama Supreme Court decision as a basis for prosecuting IVF families or providers.